Um, wow, this guy has a lot of hair. I'm, I'm, I don't know if that'll be a disadvantage, but um, certainly a what's this guy's name? Um, Daniel Gill. Daniel Gill. He's an adult male from Houston, Texas. They call him the Kingdom Ninja. He's coming out another one out of Iron Sports. Apparently, he he is one of four people to make a vacation to Mount Midoriyama. So yeah. I guess some sort of alpine resort. Hope you got in some nice skiing while you were there. He loves, he loves chocolate, chocolate. As, as many people do. And uh, every, oh my goodness, look at how many people around us. All the phones how, are out. You, you guys Everyone can see has their phones out. Every Daniel single person Gill. in this building has their phone out on so them. So all jokes aside, one of four people to ever make it to stage four. In America. In America. We have to put that qualifier out there. <laughs> yeah. In all seriousness, Daniel Gill, one of the top ninjas. You're going to have a hard time coming up with five he ninjas that are better than Daniel Gill. looks so comfortable on the course. And you have Grant McCartney videoing doing, him on the sidelines. Everything he's, he's the guy in the camo hoodie. Everything he's doing is setting himself up for the next obstacle. If you notice, his momentum is always going forward. He's also a very Hits fast the rope at the 30-second mark. Incredibly yes, fast. He's got to love speed. the speed course. Wow, that was a... Wow, okay. That was a really awkward slide down, but he has so much time that he can take as much time as he needs here on Fidget Finale. Nice and really, transition. this year, because of the 35% rule, he's going to get to see a Taking lot of an runs extra swing. on stage two. So it's not necessarily vital that you get the fastest time. So he takes as much time Excellent. as he has, as much time as he needs. And Daniel Gill is clear number 19. Again, yes. Like we've been seeing with these very experienced top-level ninjas, as the clock runs down, it doesn't change their pace. They are still running their course, and they know. They know how much time they have, and they know that they're going to hit that buzzer. And that is such a veteran move, too, to know, you know what? I have five seconds, but I know I need three seconds to beat this obstacle, so. Right. Forget so you, being, timer. I'm just going to do my thing.